Hey guys, in this video we will be comparing the Phoenix 8X on the left to the Phoenix 7X on the right. The Phoenix 7X looks like it's a bit banged up and worn because that's exactly what I have been doing with it. I've been wearing it and using it everywhere for the last two and a half years. And the Phoenix 8 here is new just out of the box and uh, it was released in august 2024 if you want to know what's the biggest difference i think the biggest difference is the price the phoenix 8x which was just released it costs thousand two hundred dollars and the phoenix 7x on the Garmin webpage, the Sapphire Solar Edition costs $900 currently. But for example, if you check the European price comparisons, you can get this one for 500 euros, so that's less than $500. So, and that's a new, uh, a new device which hasn't been used with all the warranty still valid. So, if you just want to know which one is the better device, well, the Phoenix 8X is the better device it kind of just is an upgraded version of the phoenix 7x but the 7x provides of course a lot better value because you can get it for only that 500 euros price and the differences are not that big that it would justify getting the phoenix 8x except for some specific use cases and um, i think the most obvious use case is if you're a diver then the phoenix 8x has a lot of value to offer because uh, well both watches are rated to uh, 100 meters depth but the phoenix 8x has the dive capability up to 40 meter dive so that's most recreational dives are under that depth and you get all the safety stop information and all of that stuff so that's awesome but let's cover some of the other comparable features here so the battery life on the phoenix 8x and the 7x is excellent on both on this 7x you get up to 28 days and with the solar the calculated time for smartwatch mode is 37 days and on the 8x you get 30 days and with the solar you get 48 days so i think the biggest difference there comes with the solar so it does have better um, solar capability so that was boosted and here on the 7x you can see that a uh, solar ring around the screen so that was not necessary anymore on the 8x and you get quite a bit of more solar power but anyway in any case the device has excellent battery life some of the other obvious differences is that this one has a microphone here on the bottom and it has well, I guess better speakers so you can make phone calls via the Phoenix 8 models but you do need to have your phone in range it doesn't have an eSIM or something like that you can't connect it directly to the network and the Phoenix 8 also has the Garmin electrocardiogram app um, I don't know can you actually use that in all countries yet but I guess in the US it should be possible to use it. Both of these devices have the 51 millimeter case size. The Phoenix 7X is 14.9 millimeters thick and the 8 is 15.4 millimeters thick so it's slightly thicker but yeah I don't know do you really notice that that much but it is a bit thicker. The weight of the case is 67 grams on this one and it's 61 grams on this one. 
uh, well, there was the 7X Pro in between, and that was 68 grams. So I guess they did need to increase the size slightly and, and add that weight because they have that microphone and speaker and some additional stuff they crammed into the case. Since the Phoenix 8 lineup is dive rated, it does have uh, leak proof inductive buttons. So that means that all of the buttons, well, they actually feel slightly different when you press on them. It still gives you kind of a, a feedback, but it doesn't give you that click sound what you had on the 7 lineup. And uh, on the 7 lineup, when you press the button, there was something sticking inside the case. But with this one, there's no hole in the case and the it's inductive when you press on it. And that makes it that it's more waterproof. Mm, the Phoenix 8 has also some additional sensors. It has an ambient light sensor. It has the depth sensor. It has something called QZSS and also Baidu sensors. So those are just additional satellite systems it can connect to for positioning like GPS. So since the 8 lineup has that microphone, you, you do have the phone calling ability and you have a possibility to connect to voice assistant and voice commands. Most of them require the phone to be in the range. And I have had Garmin devices with voice command ability and assistant ability in the past, but I didn't really use those. So for me, that would not be a buying choice. But since I sometimes do diving or I hope to do diving again sometime soon, I think the dive functionality is, is really um, beneficial. But if you're not a diver, then uh, uh, the, the price of the device seems quite high comparing to the uh, 7 lineup. So justifying the price might be difficult. And yeah, I forgot to mention uh, both of the devices have the MIP display. So that's something which is still available on the Phoenix 8 lineup. But on the Phoenix 8, you have also the AMOLED option. But if you want a MIP display device, that's great that it's uh, still available. And that, of course, means you have an excellent battery life and the screen is always on. The display size on both of the devices is 1.4 inches. For some reason, to me, it feels that the Phoenix 8 screen is larger, but I guess that's kind of an optical illusion. And both of them have touch screens, so that's also has remained the same. And um, let's see if we can go here into the sunrise option and we can get a bit of more of the screen used up here. It might be easier to compare the display size, but it really is the same. And it's 280 times 280 pixels. So the resolution has also remained the same. But for some reason, for my eye, the Phoenix 8 screen looks larger. Maybe it's because of that ring around the watch here and that's lacking on this one, but there's quite a bit of black area outside the screen as well. And the heart rate sensor generation is upgraded on the Phoenix 8, so it looks a bit different, but the heart rate sensing capability was excellent already on the Phoenix 7 lineup, so I don't see that as a reason to, to upgrade. So in conclusion, I would say if you want the best watch, get the Phoenix 8. But if you just want a great watch with the best value, go for the Phoenix 7. And there will be links down below in the description for both. If you want to support the channel, please use my links. There will be no additional cost for you, but there will be a commission with the, which the channel has for qualifying purchases.
And if you're into diving, I think the Phoenix 8 is a great option. So maybe that should be your pick. However, if you still want a new watch and you don't want to pay as much for it, uh, then you still have the option of getting the Enduro 3. So there will be a link in the description to the comparison of the uh, Phoenix 8 and the Enduro 3. There are also some UI differences. So I guess the UI on the Phoenix 8 is of a new generation, but to me that doesn't really matter that much. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.